What's good, y'all? It's your boy, get killicious. Back for the video. Oh, man, I couldn't wait to get to this one, y'all. Suicide Squad, kill the profitability. I mean, Suicide Squad, kill the Arkhamverse. I mean, Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League. Now, listen, I got my fan going off right now. I don't really give a shit if y'all can hear it or not. It's like a record-breaking heat wave in the Bay Area right now, okay? I am not suffering a heat stroke for your entertainment. That's what happened. I'm trying to live to see my channel grow to greater heights. Speaking of growing to greater heights, this game is fucking failing <laughs> downwards. Why? Because Rocksteady, the geniuses at Rocksteady, how intelligent the goddamn marketing team is. Oh my God, how intelligent the writers are. They are giving us season three of Kill the Arkhamverse with Lawless. Now, I know you're wondering, who the fuck is Lawless? I don't know. I, I, I swear, this is like a new character Rocksteady just shot out and created just for some bullshit. I swear, whoever decided the, the, the characters to be in these DLC packs must hate DC fans. Because who the fuck acts for Lawless? Who is this character? And wait till we get into uh, what, what, what this character is all about. You're going to love how Roxanne put together this character and what they're offering in the new season pass. Oh, you're going to love it. Meet the new character, Zoe Lawton, a.k.a. Lawless. That's right, guys. That's right. It's Zoe Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot's daughter. So she's a Deadshot clone. <laughs> Instead of putting Mr. Freeze, Penguin, Black Manta, Scarecrow. Scarecrow could have been fucking awesome to play as in this type of game. Using his fear talks and his traversal. Or better yet, Red Hood. Jason Todd. We all love Red Hood. Red Hood is great. He would have fit into this game like a fucking glove. Did they put him in? No, because whoever is in charge of this game is a fucking idiot. One of Gotham's most newest and most ethical thieves. Ethical thief? Watch the glazing they do for this new character. Lawless is determined to use the skills of a master criminal that her father taught her to redistribute, redistribute whatever the fuck, the wealth in her hometown. So she's Black Robin Hood. She's Black Robin Hood. So they're putting a heroic character into a game that is based on playing as villains <laughs> she's sending a message to the people of gotham that they don't have to live in fear of the city's out of touch elites this is so preachy and trash so fuck is this rocksteady any longer and her method for spreading this message is to live stream her heists for her adoring fans to see. She is a streamer. Yes, because that will totally connect with the youth, the gaming youth nowadays, is to make this fucking character be a streamer. Fantastic. Zoe's dad is not other than fucking Deadshot. Whatever. Who gives a shit? This is garbage. I'm not reading all this. It's just endless, lawless glaze. We're going to watch the intro cinematic to this character so y'all niggas can understand how fucking ass she is. So, I'm Lawless. Yay. Lawbreakers already know what I'm about. Lawbreakers. But for newbies, this is a good jumping on point. She's I've annoying. Been the whole Robin Hood thing in Gotham a while. You see Robin Hood. They're not even hiding. She's just black Robin Hood. <laughs> that iceberg lounge party heist. Iceberg lounge. And mine. Now she is so annoying. Who acts for this character? It's being suppressed in media. It's I being suppressed be in media. What are you talking about? Don't we see fucking Lois Lane covering this shit during the game? Y you think a worldwide alien invasion is being suppressed by the media? Who in the hell wrote that line? I'm going to tell you who. An idiotic, brain-dead, rock-steady employee. Or maybe that was Sweet Baby Inc. Because you know they can't write anything good to save their mama's life down there. Do something. Okay, I had some help from the Suicide Squad. Oh Thanks, my dude. God. Shot. Dad shot. Anyway, and she I has a similar design to Dead Shot. She has a stupid fucking so jetpack.
What the fuck is this style? Like this looks so people. terrible. Uh, we'll what is this I'm fucking stupid ass emoji? First off, sis, this is a streamer so, layout. Where? This is a streamer layout that you see right here. This is a layout, lawless. Not this filth that you put together on fucking iMovie. This here? I mean, look at this. What oh even my is this brain God. Brain? Actually, first, I have something to show you. I don't want to see anything. I, I, I'm good, sis. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Whoa. Oh, so she stole like Brainiac's technology and she repurposed it for herself. Now, I don't know if she broke into the mothership and stole it, but yeah, she has Brainiac's tech. Why and how did she get it? I don't fucking know. It's trash. She then tries to talk to her dad. And then she says she stole some Catwoman stuff and that she needs help. Fantastic. I hope they killed her. Oh, wait, no, Sally, they didn't because I never get what I want in this lifetime because God has forsaken me. Let's look at what the content season three of Kill the Arkhamverse is offering us. New playable character, Lawless, yay! Her character design's even fucking boring. I'm happy that she has her natural hair out, but goddamn, really? You get a melee weapon pack, fantastic. Now, you can either grind hundreds of hours to unlock this character, or give Rocksteady 10 bucks off rip. You better get that motherfucking Apple Pay ready and give us that 10 bucks or get that credit card or debit card if you wanna play as her like that or you can give us 10 bucks and get to play a cert immediately and i have to do all the grinding go fuck yourself rocksteady up yours new infamy sets and notorious gear catwoman infamy set yes because catwoman is known to use guns right psycho pirates notorious what psycho pirate doesn't use guns Rat Catcher, Sartorius Melee, yes, because Rat Catcher is known to use a melee weapon, and Dr. Phosphorus Notorious. Garbage. Now watch, pay attention, because I want to show y'all niggas something right here. Rocks that they think they slick. Rocks that they think they try to get one over on your boy and kill Alyssa, so that's not going to happen. Green Lantern and Superman Brainiac fight. So now, you remember, we have to kill, and we, not me, because I ain't playing this shit, you have to kill 12 Brainiacs in order to complete the game's overall, I don't know, live, at, live service story, if we can even call it that. We're going to get to the story in a minute. You're going to kill them all. Uh, Ever-changing Metropolis. Before we continue, Green Lantern and Superman Brainiac fight. So you fight Superman and Green Lantern in the base story. Throughout seasons one and season two of this garbage ass game, you also fight Brainiac versions of Green Lantern and Superman. Repeatedly, you get new garbage battle pass skins. Riddler notorious gun, because yes, Riddler uses guns, guys, shit skins. And then you fight the Superman Brainiac fight again. They repurposed the two same Brainiac boss fights twice in the same season. So they're repurposing a repurposed, repurposed boss fight with this garbage and the repurposing, repurposed squared of this shit. Are you fucking serious, Rocksteady? This is insulting. You couldn't create like a Wonder Woman Brainiac, a Batman Brainiac, something. We have to fight the same fucking Brainiac clones over and over and over again. I thought they're different brainiacs from different universes and realities we're just fighting carbon copy brainiacs and you want me and you really want me to stop shitting on this game i fucking hate this shit rocksteady what happened this is horrendous this is insulting i don't ever want to hear anyone tell me kill please give this game another chance if i see you do that you getting banned off rip i don't give a fuck this game is garbage there's still people trying to Convince me to pick this up again. Go fuck yourself. If I ever hear someone tell me to try this game out again, you know what's going to happen. You get straight to ban world. You're going to get stuck in my goddamn domain expansion. Get that ass banned. That's my domain expansion. Trash. Then, oh, God, bro. <sighs> so then you fight Brainiac, uh, John Stewart. You beat him. Uh, and then 
you meet fucking Lawless. But before we meet Lawless, we meet Jon Stewart <laughs> slash Green Lantern. No bad parts in the storm, right? And this is supposed to be you saving Jon Stewart. You're supposed to save him. You're supposed to be saving Jon Stewart. Supposedly he's alive. How? I don't know. You freed him from Brainiac's control, but you're, the Desert Rocks did. You're so lazy. They repurposed like the evil Brainiac Jon Stewart, but they forgot to remove the bullet hole in his brain that Deadshot put in there, and they forgot to remove the Brainiac corruption eyeballs. Y'all see this garbage? Y'all see this trash? The fuck is this? They don't save him, and then Jon Stewart falls. This is how lazy they are, Rocksteady. They even bothered to make an actual... They didn't even bother to actually use the true Jon Stewart character model before he got corrupted. They just used the corrupted evil Jon Stewart. Why? This is so fucking lazy. And then we get to this cutscene. You. Cringe. Hello? Horrendous garbage. I don't then give I a fuck about this shit. He then says Zoe is 13 years old. Dad, I'm 18. And then it's revealed she's 18, meaning that there's two answers here. One, Deadshot is such a shitty dad that he actually doesn't know the age of his daughter. And hasn't been around her for so long that he just assumes she's still 13. Nigga, you look at her and you think she's 13? She's almost your fucking height and she's a full grown adult. Or two, this is Zoe from an alternate reality that was fully grown. Either or, I don't care. I'm not gonna continue to watch this. It's so bad. And this is why no one is playing the game, Rocksteady. It's because of shit like this. Kill the game. Kill it. I don't even know why we're even bringing back the Justice League. You already desecrated them. You desecrated their corpse. You fucking shat on all DC fans. If you're going to bring them back, why not just bring them back through, hey, I don't know, the main story. So the game wouldn't have gotten as bad of a blowback as it did. I don't know. I'm done with this game. I'm going to continue to make fun of it. I'm going to continue to roast it. I'm going to continue to flame it because I hate it. I don't give a shit. Fuck this game. It's garbage. All, all 127 of you guys can continue to enjoy this filth. I'm going to continue to play Black Myth Wukong. I'm going to continue to play Dragon Ball Sparking Fucking Zero. Good games worth my time. Fuck this shit and fuck Rocksteady. Y'all niggas are really excited over the next Batman Arkham game that they're supposedly working on. I'd hold, I'd hold, your, um, I hold your hype in check. Because I imagine that game is going to be mid at best. No wonder why they're bringing back the Justice League. Because they realize, how the hell are we going to continue this universe with all these superheroes being dead? Uh-oh. You should have thought about that before you decided to kill them all off. Say good channel. Links them on my Twitch. 230 likes. I'm getting the hell up out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Come join the Discord. Link in the pinned what comment. Yes. I'm going to up out of here. Screw this game. I'm out. Is there anything else I have to say? No. Outro hit it.